Hello world! My name is Jenny and welcome to Jen's Poke Talk. Gen 3 was released in 2002 in Japan and 2003 in other countries. Today I will be sharing my opinions on all of these Pokemon. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let's dive in! The Sceptile Lion is a cool bunch of Pokemon and the different shades of green in appearance really set the mood of a grass type. The Blaziken line was actually the first starter Pokemon line that I used in Pokemon Sapphire, which was the first Pokemon game that I ever got. The Swampert line is cool, and I love the different blue colors of these Pokemon. Luchiana is a cute puppy, and Mightyena is a cool looking wolf dog. The Zigzag Goon line are very annoying, as they keep appearing in Pokemon Sapphire everywhere except while using Surf. Wormful is interesting as it has the choice to evolve into two different Pokemon, Silcoon or Cascoon. I prefer Silcoon because I really like Beautifly and it always annoys me when I get a Wurmple and it wants to evolve into a Cascoon. Lotad is a weird looking Pokemon. Lombre and Ludicolo, its evolved forms, are just as strange looking. The Sea Dot Line are Pokemon I haven't really used on my Pokemon team so I don't have any thoughts on them. Halo and Swellow are annoying because they keep appearing in Pokemon Sapphire and Alpha Sapphire and refuse to let me leave when I didn't want to catch them. The Winko line are like Taylor and Swellow except for the fact they keep popping up whenever I use Surf and forget to use a Repel item. The Ralts line is awesome as I used a Gardevoir on my Pokemon Sapphire, Emerald, and Alpha Sapphire teams. The Surskit line are very hard to find in the Pokemon games and trying to even catch one of them is extremely annoying. The Shroomish line are like the Sea Dot line as I have never really used one of them in my games. Slack Off and Slacking have a lousy ability called Truant, which is useless when using a two turn attack in battle. Vigoroth is fine with the Vital Spirit ability though, as it keeps it from falling asleep. Ninkata keeps popping up when I don't want to catch it. Ninjask is annoying to battle due to it having speed boost ability, which makes it even faster. And Shedinja is just creepy looking. I never used the Whismer line on any of my Pokemon teams, so I don't have anything to say about them. The Makuhita line are very hard to battle due to their bulky defense and attack stats. Azuril is cute, but I wish it would stop appearing whenever I try to find a specific Pokemon in Pokemon X. Nosepass is just bizarre looking. The Skitty line are cute cats that I love using on my Pokemon teams in my Pokemon games in Sapphire and Emerald. Sableye is creepy looking and the fact that it eats minerals makes me worry about my crystal rock safety. Mawile is okay, but why does it have two mouths? The Auron line is cool, but like with Sableye, I worry about the safety or any kind of metallic object safety that are part of this Pokemon's diet. The Meditite line are just weird looking. The Electric line are just as annoying as Taylor and Wingle because they won't leave me alone. Plus all of mine are so adorable that I ended up getting plush dolls of both of them at the same time. Bulbeat and Illamise are weird fireflies that just look like they came from a fancy party. Roselia is a cute Pokemon, but frustrating to go against in battle. The Golpin line are creepy looking and the fact that they have huge stomachs? The Carnivine line are intimidating and I would not want to deal with the rough scales on their bodies. The Whalemer line are two Pokemon that I would not be able to care for as they are too big. The Numble line are just weird camels that I find disturbing. Torpal is another Pokemon that I have not been able to use on my Pokemon teams as they are very annoying to find. The Spoink line are weird pig-like creatures with pearls. I don't understand them. Spinda are just weird to look at. The Flygon line is really cool, and I use a Flygon named Terra on my Pokemon White 2 team, so I have a lot of nostalgia with these Pokemon. The Cacnea line are just weird cacti that I would never want to deal with if I ever got lost in a desert. The Swablu line are like Flygon, except I use an Altaria in my Pokemon Sapphire and Emerald games. I never really caught Zangoose or Surviper, and due to their vicious history with each other, I'd rather avoid these at all costs. Lunatone and Soul Rock are creepy floating rocks with faces on them. I never used the Barboach or Corfish lines in my game, so no comments on them. The Baltoy line have such strange designs, and Claydol also creeps me out due to the several eyes that it has around its head. 
The Lightning line are Pokemon I haven't used since I mostly used the Anorith line in Pokemon Sapphire and Emerald because I thought they were cooler. The Feebas line are actually the better version of Magikarp that allows Feebas to use TMs and Milotic is a force to be reckoned with in battle and on the contest stage. Hasform is a cute Pokemon and the weather change ability it has is very useful. Kecleon is just annoying. The Shuffet and Duskull line are too creepy for me. Tropius is a cool grassy sauropod Pokemon that has a creative design with the leaves being its wings. Shimeko is just hard to find and I don't want one. Absol is an awesome looking Pokemon that I recently got a plush doll of this year. Snowrun is okay, but Glalie kind of makes me nervous with those large teeth. I never really used the Wall Rain line in my games, so I don't have any particular attachment to them. Plant World is a creative design of an oyster-like Pokemon. Huntail is creepy and disturbing looking, and Gorbis is elegant and also one of my favorite colors. Pink! Relicanth is a hard to find Pokemon that I never really wanted to use on my teams. Love Disk is not very interesting to me, unless I want to catch it for the Pokedex or get a heart scale for the remove reminder. The Salamence line is too hard to find in the Pokemon games, and I never really knew where to find it. The Metagross line is awesome, but I wish that I could get it sooner in Gen 3, as you can only get one after defeating the Pokemon League. The Reggie Trio are some of the strangest Pokemon that I have ever seen. However, I do like the fact that Regice is a large block of ice that can never melt. I also love the crystal blue color of its body. The Eon Duo are pretty cool Pokemon. I remember using Latias on my Pokemon Alpha Sapphire team for a while. I have a powerful and nostalgic connection with Kyogre, as it was the mascot of Pokemon Sapphire, my very first game on handheld devices. I also remember catching it in a Great Ball once in the game. I still don't know how that was possible. I never really used Groudon on my Pokemon teams except in Pokemon Go. Rayquaza is a cool Pokemon to ride into space with in Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. Jirachi is another cute Pokemon that I remember getting as a Pokemon plush doll from my youth. Deoxys was really annoying to catch in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. And I was even more shocked that it was level 80, which was higher than Rayquaza's level. And that's my opinion on all the Pokemon from Gen 3. Did you see one that you like or didn't like? Let me know in the comments below. And please check out my first channel, Jen's Pokemon AMVs, as I'm close to hitting 50 subscribers on that channel, and I would love to do it before at least the next video comes out. So until next time, see ya!